Hello welcome to my channel. Although some people may reject the notion that graphics quality can affect the overall gaming experience, it cannot be denied that graphics have indeed transformed the gaming industry. Throughout history, game graphics have consistently evolved with each generation. It was during the seventh generation of games that we witnessed numerous titles pioneering new levels of realism in game graphics. This aspect became the foremost topic of discussion and anticipation whenever a new game was announced. This advancement was made possible by hardware improvements in gaming platforms, particularly the consoles with the most powerful hardware during the seventh generation, notably the PlayStation 3. Sony's PlayStation 3 also excelled in delivering AAA gaming experiences with the best graphics. With the upcoming release of the PS5, we anticipate revisiting games with top-tier graphics from the previous two console generations, including the PS3. Therefore, here are seven PS3 games with the best graphics of all time. At number seven, there is God of War Ascension. This game was released exclusively for the PS3 on March 12, 2013. Since its inception on the PS2, we've seen how AAA exclusive games can maximize hardware performance to deliver better graphics. Before God of War became a different game on the PS4, God of War Ascension reached its pinnacle in graphics for action hack and slash games like this one. Still focusing on delivering an epic cinematic gameplay experience, God of War Ascension transports us to the extreme fantasy world of Greek mythology, combined with hack and slash gameplay. The game's graphical evolution also enhances its gameplay, making it more brutal and satisfying. With more interactive environments and screen-filling effects, we can see complex environments with noticeable texture differences. Additionally, character models are rich in detail, with more body structures susceptible to damage. This creates more realistic gore effects that make Kratos' actions against his enemies truly impactful. Next, we have Gran Turismo 6 at number 6. Gran Turismo 6 was the last game in the series released for the PS3 on December 6, 2013. Gran Turismo is renowned for its realism, both in terms of the feel of controlling the cars and what we see on the screen. Sometimes, one might think that what we see in this game is too perfect for a game. This showcases the photorealistic nature of GT6, which further convinces us due to its naturalistic approach rather than overly exaggerated style. GT6 offers a plethora of meticulously detailed car choices, both inside and out. Various tracks feature fully 3D modeled environments, including their backgrounds. The addition of weather conditions that can influence both visual and gameplay atmospheres, alongside enhanced graphical effects like shadow reflections and lighting, makes Gran Turismo 6 a comprehensive package for realistic graphics, not just for racing games but across all genres of its generation. Then, there's Killzone 3 at number 5. This game was released on February 22, 2012, exclusively for PS3. Killzone 3 will make you think Guerrilla Games used magic to achieve such graphical levels on the PS3, bringing significant graphical improvements from its predecessors. As an FPS game that only shows the character's hands, Killzone 3 pays meticulous attention to animation details, making every action feel lifelike. Not only the camera and hands, but also the enemy character models are highly realistic. Various weapon models, armors, and other sci-fi elements with complex textures enrich the environment across diverse and lively-feeling levels, successfully creating a dark tone to match its storyline. There are numerous brilliant scenarios unfolding simultaneously on a battlefield with flying bullets, explosions, and more truly bringing an intense war feel unmatched by many other war games. Moreover, for those looking to enhance their visual experience, Killzone 3 also features 3D and works well with PS Move controls. Next, there's Beyond Two Souls at number 4. This game was released on October 8, 2013, for PC, PS3, and PS4. Beyond Two Souls is an interactive story game where you play as well as direct the storyline, taking on the role of Jodie Holmes across her childhood, teenage, and adult years in a back-and-forth manner. This setup creates a cohesive story progression akin to other interactive story games. The visual quality is crucial as players wouldn't stay engaged if the visuals weren't this impressive. 
Various settings not only boast realistic graphical levels, but also appear dramatic due to well-executed graphical effects. Character models are not just realistic but also feel alive, each with its own personality shown through natural-looking animations, interactions, and actions, avoiding any awkwardness. The facial expressions, captured with precision, further support the range of emotions and moods intended for the storyline, greatly aided by the excellent acting performances, especially from Ellen Page, who is a highlight of the game. Throughout gameplay, one could easily forget they're not watching a movie with real actors. Moving on to Crisis 3 at number 3. The third game in the Crisis franchise was released on February 19, 2013, for PC, PS3, and Xbox 360. Crisis has always been iconic for its seventh-generation graphics that were so realistic that high-end PCs of that time struggled to handle them. For the PS3, Crisis 3's graphics are undoubtedly among the best. Crisis 3 takes us to a dystopian version of New York City with tall urban buildings and ruins, now overrun by vegetation like trees and wild grass, blending advanced sci-fi technology in battles against alien robots. Technically and artistically, the visuals are exceptionally well-crafted to combine such settings, featuring beautiful global illumination lighting, individually rendered foliage, abundant particle effects, rich colors, and more. The character models, designed to appear natural and realistic, are animated and express facial emotions effectively, conveying a sense of desperation that makes them feel truly alive. The realism of Crisis 3's graphics becomes even more apparent when played after other games. Next up is Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception at number 2. This game was released on November 1, 2011, exclusively for the PlayStation 3. The Uncharted franchise, originating during the PS3 era, has undoubtedly defined this generation of gaming, especially in terms of its graphics. Not only does it deliver realistic graphical fidelity, but it also offers visuals that captivate our attention. Uncharted 3 takes us through various exotic settings with richly colorful environments that are detailed and varied in each level. Throughout the gameplay, we often pause to admire the complex textures of various objects we encounter or to soak in breathtaking vistas that seem iconic wherever we look. The desert setting of Rub al Khali particularly indulges the eyes. The game's focus on providing a blockbuster cinematic action experience is greatly enhanced by its realistic character models, especially in the expressive eyes of the characters, which give them a lifelike quality due to the numerous expressions that are meticulously crafted. Moreover, motion capture is exceptionally well utilized, with many subtle movements in its animations that bring Nathan Drake to life, making it one of the best cinematic experiences on the PS3. And topping this list of best graphics on the PS3 is The Last of Us. Released on June 14, 2013, exclusively for the PS3, this game benefited from being released towards the end of the console generation, allowing Naughty Dog to push the graphical capabilities of the PS3 to their limits. Apart from its visual beauty and realism, the Last of Us successfully creates a dystopian post-apocalyptic atmosphere in a setting of an America reclaimed by nature, constantly making us feel immersed in danger. The attention to detail for various objects in the environment is meticulous, with global illumination, shadows, and reflections that are incredibly realistic, making every scenario in the environment appear naturally occurring. Each environment across its various levels is uniquely crafted, ensuring that besides remembering memorable events, the settings where these events occur are equally memorable. Both the character models through motion capture and polygons are so realistic that they make us genuinely care about them, often forgetting they aren't real. If there was any debate about the best graphics on the PS3 before, The Last of Us decisively ended that discussion. So, those are the seven PS3 games with the best graphics of all time. What are your favorites? Or perhaps you know of other games that should be on this list. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, recount your experiences of seeing the graphics of these games on the PS3 for the first time.